Starting with the Monoglam collection, this is a stunning bag, but the sales associate pointed out that Does that size fit the phone? Yeah. How fun is a lime yellow interior and the chain? I do really think this is a great value for money bag currently at and I had to try on this new Diana bag, the whole east-west proportion. This is a cutest summer bag I've seen so far from anywhere. welcome or welcome back so today i'm gonna go out to the city luxury shopping which i have not done in what feels like ages so i'm really excited to check out what is new out there there are a few specific things that i do want to check out like some of those gorgeous summer bags from loewe the new basket bags they look absolutely adorable even though we're heading into winter here in sydney i just love those new styles and i thought i'd just take you guys along with me while i'm at it and by the way if you're new to my channel welcome i'm so glad you're here on my channel i share big and small luxuries in life so if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy i'd love it if you hit the subscribe button i'd love to see you back anyway let's head out together and see what's out there look at that line Louis Vuitton, I guess we're skipping this for the time being. Okay, Louis Bay. Really want to check out the new basket bags. really wanted to check out. I like how it's small and you can close the bag with the drawstring and the strap would be really handy as well. Is it normal that the logo is off to the side? I'm not sure. Very comfortable. I actually remember seeing this from the window a couple of weeks ago and these definitely look more centered so I guess that brown one is a no-go. I like that this one has like the adjustable shoulders. Trying on the gate bag in the mini size in this greyish top color. This one actually fits the phone despite its small size. Limited edition. Yes, no. I think it's limited. Mm. We used to have a bra as well, but not only that color left. Mm. So personally, I prefer this combination. Yeah. It's a so it's different make, prices. Yes, definitely different yeah. prices, but it's just more unique compared mm. with others. And some people prefer the thinner straps instead of the wider ones. Yeah. This is really casual. I think the strap makes yeah. it really casual. Yeah. The leather strap is much longer on this one. This is a cutest summer bag I've seen so far from anywhere. So versatile with the shoulder strap and the generous top handles. You can easily slide the bag to the crook of your arm. The raffia is done really neatly as well. And look at the shell details. I love the white strap and the logo too. It's so fresh looking. Apparently this one is only made in very limited quantity. Retail price is at 1800 Australian dollars, so a little more than what I would be happy to pay for a summer wicker bag, but it's so unique, I am really, really tempted. I also love this larger toe style with a pop of yellow and green stripes. Again, very comfortable to wear both on the crook of the arm and on my shoulders. It also has a leather shoulder strap, which is removable and adjustable. I guess you can make it longer and wear a crossbody, but I think the bag is a little too big as a crossbody for my liking. 
This one is a little more pricey at 2,450 Australian dollars. I guess it is much larger and has a lot more leather details like the leather pocket and the shoulder strap. Now just comparing the two, I do love how they are both so soft and pliable around my body. There is also this more plain one, slightly smaller than the other one with the green and yellow stripes. I do like how this one comes with the tan leather details. But this one now looks really plain compared to the other two with more details. And again, this is it on the shoulder strap. Again, very, very comfortable to wear. Okay, here we are, Chanel. I don't even know what season we're up to with Chanel, but I see a lot of these pinks and whites and corals at the moment. But supposedly there's a new season coming in two weeks or so, the pre-fall, so there'll be more earthy tones, which is probably what I'm more interested in. Anyway, still head in and have a look. A white color with the love heart seasonal one. Yeah. I'm not sure if I had a look already, but it's mm. just over there. But okay. Yeah, majority of the little jeans. Does that size fit the phone? Yeah. Can I have a look at that one? And what was on the top? That's the same size. It's the same size as this one. Uh, that one is a phone holder size for the lady. Mm. Oh, it's got the adjustable chain. Yeah, this one has adjustable strap. Is this card slots as well? This one. This one. Oh, just the one there. This one is in a very similar size in the Chanel 19 style. I think the hardware is too chunky for the tiny size of this bag. I tried on the beautiful mini world on a chain. It might be my pregnant belly, but it looks really small on me. There's also this light gray one with its unique chain. This mini vanity bag is also really pretty in this pink color with the adjustable chain as well. But I didn't realize that these mini vanity bags were retailing over 5,000 Australian dollars now. I just say they're just not worth it. Looking at some more bags on the other side of the store. This seasonal bag looks a little bit of a cross between the Chanel 22 bag and um, their usual bucket bags. This is another cute wallet on chain style bag. Quite small. I'm trying on some mini flaps now. This tweed one is so cute. I love the light colors. How fun is the lime yellow interior and the chain? I actually quite like this red patent. Something totally different to what I usually go for. I don't normally like patent, but this red color was really, really pretty. And I did quite like this pop of red. The sales associate was just saying to me how the color patent doesn't show fingerprints as much as a black one would so this will be a good option if I wanted to go for a patent bag and I still believe the Chanel mini flaps are really worth the price because they sit around the 7,000 Australian dollars so a mini flap is probably the only thing that I would still consider buying in terms of bags from Chanel so these were all the rectangular minis they had in stock currently that's all she showed me anyway and just checking out some shoes they have, but nothing really standing out to me.
Okay, now we're at Louis Vuitton. Starting with the Monoglam collection, I've been wanting to see this collection in person. I think the iridescence really made me curious. Here is a Speedy 20, which is actually a really good size. Looks so nice with my black and denim outfit. Next is the Pochette Matisse East West. It's a little smaller than the original Pochette Matisse. It's almost squashed down a little bit, but I like it that it comes with an extra chunky metal chain so it can be dressed up better. I like the chain. I love the chain mm. too. Yeah. Mm. 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 So this is how it looks with the shoulder chain. I love the leather and the microfiber lining. This is how it looks as a crossbody at the shorter strap setting. I'm now trying on the loop bag from the Mono Glam collection. This one is in the other colorway, which is this golden vachette leather trim. This is a stunning bag, but the sales associate pointed out that when the vachette patinas and darkens over time, the contrast between the gold monoglam and the aged vachette may not look so great as it can do on a regular monogram, and I do agree. Maybe different combination. Yeah, because it's been popular style, right? Also having a look at the newest by the pool collection bags. This is a new mini bum bag. I wanted to see the monogram version, but they only have this by the pool version at the moment. So I'm trying it on for size. I'm not too sure. I don't think this bag silhouette is very flattering on my current body frame. This bag doesn't look the greatest with the metal chain either. It's too much of a casual bag to go with the metal chain. It looks much better with the leather strap and actually looks the best as a crossbody as it suits its casual vibe the best. Also trying on this summer bundle bag. It's a pretty elegant design. The leather is beautiful and the colorway is so refreshing. It comes with this pochette as well, which is an extra bonus. Okay, there are actually a couple of bags that I want to check out from Gucci, so let's do that. I haven't been in Gucci for the longest time. I've been wanting to see this Horsebit 1955 mini crossbody bag for a while now, especially in this lighter colorway. The strap is not detachable but adjustable and the bag has a flat magnet closure. The canvas is also coated so it's quite carefree. I especially love this colorway. I do really think this is a great value for money bag currently at 1815 Australian dollars. I guess it's a lot of money but it's all relative. In today's luxury bag market, I think that's a really reasonable price. I think it looks quite substantial for the price point with all the details like the horse bit and this colorway definitely makes the bag look much more subtle and elegant despite all the Gigi monogram is still quite understated. Also trying on the more classic brown one. I personally don't love this one as much because I think the brown is a little dull and the Gigi monogram stands out too much but will be definitely a more durable option. This is the slightly larger version. This one is a little too bulky for my liking. It comes with two straps, this thin leather one and a thicker canvas one, the classic Gucci red and green canvas strap. And the price jumps all the way up to 4,490 Australian dollars. It definitely looks much more substantial, but I personally don't think I will spend that much on this bag.
And I had to try on this new Diana bag. The whole East West proportion really reminds me of the Dior D Joy, which I love, but I don't love it on the Diana bag design. I guess this shape is trending at the moment. I'm just not quite sure that this shape really suits this bag, but I do find it interesting. So I'm trying it on while I'm here. This is how it looks handheld. I do like it with the chain hanging and this is it with the metal chain. It's a cute size. While I'm here, I thought I should just check out the Gucci Neppy bag. It is just massive. I never really considered it. I actually don't think I'll get a luxury Neppy bag. I don't think it's money well spent at all, but I still wanted to see it in person. It's cool that it comes with this change mat. Then I noticed really cute newborn sets. How adorable are these? The Gucci newborn sets were actually priced much lower than the Hermes and LV ones. These three set pieces were around $400 Australian, so I am seriously tempted. How cute are these sneakers as well? These are some baby blankets as well, so cute. We saw some really, really cute bags today. There are a few that I am seriously considering, but I just couldn't decide on the color and the combination. Um, and also, you guys know that I don't have a specific wish list this year, really. So it was just really nice to see what's new out there. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the eye candies. It was really fun to come out after a long time. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.